Welcome to CS Guitars, the science of loud. Today I'm tackling your tatas, the questions that at this stage you are too afraid to ask. Delay pedals do exactly what they say on the box. They take your real-time audio signal and then make a delayed copy of it. So when you play one note, you'll hear that note followed by its echo. To make this happen, you obviously need to capture your audio signal for a few milliseconds before you can play it back as an echo. It's easy to see how you would do this by using tape or by digital methods. You'd record your audio signal onto your chosen recording medium and then play it back a short time later. Easy. But with solid state analog circuits, we don't have any recording medium like tape, nor do we have any digital memory storage. In fact, for solid state analog technology, there's no way to record anything. It's simply transistors and capacitors manipulating voltage in real time. So how do we manage to capture the incoming signal long enough to play it back as an echo? The X5 Echoman delay very proudly states that it's operating on an MN3005 chip, a 4096 stage BBD which is great news for any fans of analog delay. BBD stands for Bucket Brigade Device, an analog delay chip with some very clever design offering one solution to the issue of delay in analog circuits. The name Bucket Brigade device should give us a clue as to how this operates. It's a reference to a firefighting technique where a line of firefighters would pass buckets of water from person to person in order to get water from source to destination. A Bucket Brigade. Similarly, a Bucket Brigade device features hundreds of tiny capacitors on the one chip, which pass a snapshot of the audio signal from capacitor to capacitor down the line at a rate dictated by an external clock. Capacitors are charge storing devices which fill with electric charge in a way analogous to how a bucket fills with water. An incoming audio signal is sampled at a particular rate dictated by the BBD chip. The first capacitor then fills with electronic charge until it reaches the voltage of the first sample point. Then the transistor switch between each capacitor opens and the charge is dumped into the next capacitor in line, all at a rate dictated by the circuit's clock. That first capacitor then starts to fill to the voltage of the second sample point and when full dumps onto the next capacitor and on and on and on it goes for the 512, 1024 or however many capacitors happen to be on the chip. At the end, all of these individual voltage points form an approximation of the original signal, but due to the time it took to get through the bucket brigade device, it's now up to a few hundred milliseconds behind the original signal, giving us an echo. While an incredibly clever way of getting around the problem, this does introduce some unique quirks and imperfections into the delay signal which have become iconic features of BBD based delays. Firstly, let's consider the sample rate. The frequency at which the audio signal is initially sampled is incredibly important for recreating the echo accurately. In physics terms, what we are doing by sampling the signal is breaking it into Fourier coefficients, snapshots of the amplitude of the signal in time which can be used to reconstruct the whole. So long as the sample frequency is at least twice the highest frequency being sampled. If the highest frequency in our signal is X, and we take sample points more often than 2 times x, then there is only one way these sample points can be reconstructed. The same frequency as the original. However, if we sample at a rate less than 2x, then this leads to a bit of a discrepancy. There's no way to know whether these Fourier coefficients refer to a wave of this frequency, or this frequency. This reconstructed signal, therefore, is prone to aliasing, a phenomenon where high frequency content is mistakenly reconstructed at a lower frequency because the sampling rate wasn't high enough. This isn't just a problem isolated to analog delay either. Here is some video footage I took of Henning Polly flying his drone. Notice the strange appearance of the propellers. This is video aliasing due to the rolling shutter of my camera scanning much slower than the speed of the props, and so the digital video has reconstructed their appearance inaccurately. The same can be seen when I shoot a vibrating guitar string with a slow shutter speed. It looks like this string is very slowly vibrating, but in reality it's vibrating much faster. The camera has mistakenly reconstructed the Fourier coefficients at a much lower frequency. 
Now imagine this happening with audio rather than video. It wouldn't sound good to have high frequencies reconstructed as lower frequencies. So to avoid this, BBD delays not only have to have a high sample frequency, but also filter out any frequencies above that sample threshold prior to it going through the capacitor bucket brigade. Doing so ensures that the signal won't be corrupted by aliasing, but it does result in the echo being tonally darker than the initial signal. Something which fortunately has become much loved about these effects. BBDs are also limited to how much delay time they can have. The X5 has 600 milliseconds maximum delay time, and that's about the upper limit for BBD delays without the echo becoming distorted out of all recognition. The longer the delay time, the less accurately the circuit can recreate the delay. Losses in the bucket brigade process become more prominent, and at long delay times, BBD delays start to distort, and aliasing becomes more prevalent due to undersampling. While this sounds like an undesirable, this feature has found a home with fans of delay who want to push a BBD to its limits to get a grungy, unpredictable delay sound. Also, due to the delay clock keeping time within the circuit, the signal is tainted by constant, sharp, high frequency spikes with each tick of the clock. And the only way to get rid of this is to filter out of the final signal, again affecting the tonality of the echo. Let's go back to the X5 Echoman. By using a 4096 stage BBD, this overcomes much of the long delay time undersampling issues, allowing it to delay for longer than fewer stage chips without incurring aliasing effects. The MN3005 chip features a significantly better signal to noise ratio compared to if you were simply to chain eight 512 stage BBDs together, even at long delay settings. Now, those eagle eyed amongst you will have noticed the similarities in name, features, and graphic design between this Echo Man and the iconic Electro Harmonics Deluxe Memory Man. This should come as no surprise, as this unit here was designed by Howard Davis, the man behind the original Memory Man, providing an updated, slimmed down, and streamlined version of the iconic effect. Operating from a standard 9 volt DC supply in a space saving miniature housing, this offers a a plethora of fantastic delay sounds from its four knob design. From super short slapback to 600 millisecond delay time, a blend knob that takes you from completely dry to echo only, a feedback control that gets you into beautiful self oscillating territory if you're into that sort of thing, and modulation speed for controlling the strength of either the chorus or vibrato effects selected by the button switch and indicated by a color changing status LED. This is a rich and fascinating delay pedal with huge amounts of delightful analog delay possibilities. From straight up echo to modulated repeats, you can hear the distinctive darkening of the tone with each repetition. And with that warping of the sound in chorus mode, we get the eerie feeling that we're standing in a huge empty space, hearing our guitar sounds bouncing off of distant surfaces and returning to us not quite what they were when they left.
by ramping up the feedback and manipulating the time control, we can force this into wild self oscillations as the delay begins to feed itself. A favourite of soundscapers and noisemakers everywhere. It's even possible to coax some faux reverb and chorus sounds out of this by setting the delay time exceptionally short and messing around with the feedback and modulation controls. Honestly, I think this is a fantastic reimagining of the iconic Memory Man, taking everything learned from the BBD technology that made the original a classic and putting it into a modern, state-of-the-art package. The sounds are delightfully rich, having plenty of scope to play around with. The feature set is well thought out too. I like the colour changing LED that lets you easily see which mode you're in, and even these knurled aluminium knobs really impressed me when I first touched them. There is nothing cheap about this unit, from it being implemented by its original designer to the solidly built construction with sounds that reflect its iconic lineage, this is not just some clone or copy. This is a legitimate update and it might just be my new favourite Bucket Brigade delay pedal. Now I'm not a huge fan of this miniature form factor generally and I know there's a lot of pedal guys out there who take issue with this footprint of pedal, but it didn't bother me much with this unit. I think the sounds and features far outweigh any objections I would have to the size. My only other criticism is that when doing the self oscillating stuff, it can be very easy to kill the oscillations dead by dropping the delay time too far, so be aware of that when you're making your weird spaceship sounds. For tonality, features and ease of use, this has certainly become my new favourite BBD delay pedal and I think I'll be keeping this one around and using it a lot going forward. Links to the X5 Echo Man will be in the description should you want to check out the price and grab one for yourself. And if you've liked this video and you want to see more content from me then you can hit the subscribe button which will notify you of all new content as it comes out. My Patreon is also there for exclusive secret stuff, t-shirts are available and there's other videos that you might not have seen. But that's all for now guys. Keep Keep it loud, and I'll see you later. Echo, 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 echo.